Hi there, I'm Peter Millard, and in this week's 10 minute workshop, I'm going to show you how to take a disposable vacuum bag and make it reusable. It's coming up next. So back in the day when your vacuum bags were made of paper, it was relatively easy to unpick the tape, gently pry the seam open and reseal them again, retape them. Uh, these days, when vacuum bags are more like the shirt on your back than the newspaper in your recycling bin, it's much, much harder. The seams are all heat sealed. And if you open that up with a knife or a pair of scissors, there's no chance of taping that back up again. And it only takes one little gap for that dust to start exploding out all over the inside of your vacuum. But I've got a way of cleaning that up and making a really tight seal. And it's just the way that the big boys do it. Now my main workshop vacuum here is an old CTL22 Festool extractor and when I bought it used it came with a long life bag and the way that that bag is sealed up is really clever. It's just a pipe, a tube with a long cut down the length of it and you slide that over the end of the bag and it seals it up really well. Well we're just going to make ourselves a smaller version of it. But the last thing I'm going to do is use an unguarded blade on a table saw like this to make a cut like this. We're going to do it quickly, cleanly and safely with a couple of lumps of MDF and a track saw. So let's quickly go through the bits and pieces that we'll need for this project. Obviously you're going to need the bag that you want to cut down. This is a bag from a Festival CTL SIS. Uh, pretty much the only bags I have these days to be honest. You'll need a, a, a ruler and something like a utility knife, a snap-off knife, or a pair of scissors if that works for you, but ruler or knife works best for me. Uh, you'll need a, a length of plastic pipe. This is a 15mm uh, plumbing pipe. It's called poly pipe. Uh, any brand will do. doesn't really matter. Uh, Hep, John Guest, any, any of those, but just regular plastic pipe. And it'll need to be obviously long enough to cover the width of the bag that you're trying to seal. Uh, we'll want some double-sided tape. You'll need a couple of bits of sandpaper, a coarser grit, something like a P60, and a finer grit, P120. Uh, and you'll need a couple of pieces of MDF. Um, these need to be sort of about the same sort of length as the piece of pipe that you're working on. Could be anything. Uh, it, the, the critical thing is, it's to supply, uh, it's to provide support either side of the pipe so it's got to be around about the same sort of thickness. So we've got a 15 mil pipe and I'm using 18 mil MDF. It could be plywood, could be anything. It's whatever you've got to hand. So the first thing we're going to do is run some double sided tape along two edges of the boards. Next we cut off the end of the bag with the utility knife and a ruler. And after that, we can cut the pipe down to the appropriate length. Then we remove the backing from one side of the tape, and then with the board on a flat surface, we roll the pipe into the tape, preferably with the writing facing uppermost. And then we do the same to the other side with the other piece of MDF. Now I'm just going to pop a couple of clamps on this, just to stop it slipping. It's a little bit belt and braces, nothing's going to move in there, to be honest. That pipe is well glued onto the sides with double-sided tape. We've got the writing uppermost, so we've got a reasonable line down the centre, so we know where to aim for with our saw. And all we're going to do is just pop the track saw on there and make a simple shallow cut. Uh, normally I have my saw set to 11, but this is one of those rare occasions when I'm going to dial it back a bit because I want to cut through the pipe, not burn through it, not melt it, so it'll be down close to its lowest speed. So with the cut made, we can pull everything apart, carefully peeling off the double-sided, before taking off the last of the residue with some gaffer tape. 
So there's a little bit of melting going on here, but it's not too bad. Uh, we'll take off the worst of that with the uh, utility knife. And we can get in there with some coarse grit abrasive. So we'll be cleaning that up. And then we can finish off with something finer. That was a P60, and this is a P120. And this is just to make sure that we don't snag the bag. We're trying to turn a disposable bag into something a bit more long life, so we'll keep it going for as long as we can. Now as the final finishing touch, we're just gonna put a slight curve, a slight angle, on the very end as a lead in to the bag just to make things a little bit easier to get the bag on. Doesn't need to be much, but it does need to be smooth. Now as it is, with the standard Festool blade, the saw kerf is 2.2 millimeters, and it's a little bit loose, it's a little bit slack. It might be okay, but I'd be slightly concerned about that just popping off. So what I would do is just put one fold in it, and then feed that pipe over the end. And there we are, absolutely solid as anything. So there we are, that's it for this week. A quick, easy, cheap way of turning a disposable bag into a reusable bag. Uh, it's not something I do very often. As I said in the previous video, most of the time somebody else is picking up the tab for my bags, but if you pay for your own, or if you just want to reuse them, then this is a really good, simple, easy way of making sure that that bag doesn't explode in your vacuum cleaner because we've seen the sort of mess that that can cause. Uh, that's it for this week though. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.